Hey guys, I wanted to do an update on my Balaptic Adubia colony. First I'll show their setup. This, I had a banana in there. Ran out of oranges so I threw a banana in there. Been in there about two days now so I figured go ahead and take it out and do a video on them. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get that out of there. That's kind of nasty actually. I won't be using bananas no more. Um, I've had them for since February 19th I think it is I don't remember but there's their food right there got something got these on there so if any of the nymphs get on it they can get off but I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all these rolls right here and where it's just the egg crates or the egg flats whatever you want to call them in there get all their food and water out of there and then I'll start right back up alright I'll be right back Alright guys, I'm back now. I got all the rolls and everything out. I have all of those right there in there. So, kind of took me a minute getting everybody out. I haven't messed with my colony in a while. All I do is just open it up, put food and water in, and I haven't really looked around. And uh, I started off with, uh, what was it, I think 50, 52 females and probably... 10 males in here I bought those and then I went on retino boards and got hang on a second got some nips climbing uh, I went on retino boards and Jamie uh, I think her is Suke 94 I bought a hundred mixed nymphs so I bought some a lot of them from her but from what I'm seeing, there's a lot of nymphs in here, but we'll go ahead and go and look over real quick. Um, got all this right here. It's not too much, but oops, squished one. But it's all right. Got these. All these little craters are full with them, pretty much. It seems to be doing pretty good. I mean. For a month and a half, it's doing a lot better than I expected it to. Flip it over. And that's not including all the nymphs that are in the frass at the bottom. Flip her over. Oh, got a pair of mating right there. See, got some mixed size nymphs in there. Oops, I'm zoomed in too far. And let's grab this one real quick. Ooh, there's a bunch. See, there's a nymph right there, that big one. Yeah, when I I got those from Jamie, she did. She put a, quite a bit in there. A lot of mixed nymphs and she gave me some adult females and uh, a couple she gave me quite a few pairs and uh, I bought a bunch of uh, there's one that was just recently shedded I bought some water crystals from her too I'll explain those here in a minute see there's a bunch of nymph, nymphs down there So far, I think it's, it's doing pretty good. Oh, uh, let me find something. One second, guys. Hmm. Where'd he go? I'm trying to find my flashlight. and I can't find it um, oh well I don't need it so we'll just continue without it anyways so that's a month and a half worth of actual breeding and Probably a hundred of them were uh, 
uh, I know more than a hundred were bought from Jamie so I still think that's pretty good gut doings right there for breeding and there's a lot of nymphs in here a lot when I took those rolls out I would easily say there's probably more than a thousand nymphs in here all of them scattered everywhere and whatnot and then that's not including all the females that are breeding and are still pregnant or whatever gravid whatever you want to call it so that there is my little update on my leptica dubious um, the water crystals if you haven't heard of them you really are to sh you really should get you some if you have these um, they're really inexpensive you can go to Jamie's website and she has them for rather cheap uh, you can get like I think it was a half an ounce for two dollars shipped to you so that's that's not a bad price the water crystals are this right here hold on let me get it out here we go I'm trying to do this all with one hand and everything's scattered everywhere this here is the water crystals that right there I've used half a spoon a little video half a spoon of that and I only bought like I think an ounce of it and obviously that there's more than an ounce so you can see how pretty good she hooks you up with that right there all that for like four bucks and I already mixed it together on in this here and I've used this twice since I've mixed it Let's see if I can get a better view anyways I filled the water up to here put half a spoon of uh, water crystals and it filled up pretty much full so for less than a dollar you get this right here and that's the same stuff they sell at the pet stores for like eight bucks I'll put her website and link or a link of her website in the sidebar so you can check her out if you need some uh, she don't have roaches right now she said I bought the last bit of her roaches so but you can still check her out and see if she's got any more I don't really know if she does I haven't talked to her but she's really nice uh, good to deal with so I'll put her link in the sidebar you can check it out um, so I feed mine crushed up dog food I'll show you that I just crushed it up myself and that's how it looks I got it like that for the nymphs they, they eat it easier than toting around the big old chunk of dog food um, I've mostly used oranges that helps them I was told that that's like an aphrodisiac for them I don't know uh, I'm assuming it's true because I mean, you see the roaches in here the nymphs and everybody there's a bunch of them I mean, you barely seen half of them so there you go if you want a roach colony get you a quick roach colony get you a big old tub like this right here it is a 18 gallon tub 68 liter I cut holes in the side of it like I was showed from a friend of mine off Arachno Boards, Steve he showed me how to do it with his video got it on both sides I got the lid done the same way really easy just cut it out with a box cutter and simple as that hot glue the lid to it uh hmm what am I leaving out hmm yeah that's pretty much about it you just feed them uh, dog food get the water crystals and whatnot and they're fairly simple to take care of keep them really warm I've noticed the warmer I keep them the more I get babies so that's always a benefit uh let's see am I forgetting anything so I don't think so that should be about it um I also wanted to give a shout out to a fellow YouTube member real quick if y'all want to see some pretty entertaining videos check out Chantrell and Matt's videos he's got some pretty good videos on here a lot of his tarantulas his collections and whatnot you gotta check him out and see what you think about him. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off now. Thanks for watching.